It seems like for years now, we've been hearing the same old story about low inventory and historically low rates. This year, however, we're talking extremes. Find out what that means next. Through the twists and turns presented to us in 2020, the market continues to perform in nearly the opposite manner heading into late summer as kids head back to school, still likely at home. Typically at this point in the real estate season, we would be feeling the initial shift into the back half of the year where inventory grows, demand falls back, and the market softens to give more opportunity for fall buyers to have more negotiating power. But that hasn't happened yet. It seems as though nothing in 2020 is going per usual. Inventory is shrinking, which is hitting all-time seasonal lows. Demand is surging from pent-up interest in the market. And pre-demand is building from those trying to get ahead of a potential second wave. And now interest rates are dropping even lower, sometimes into the mid-twos. I remember when rates were in the fives, we never thought we would see rates in the fours. I thought the same thing about rates in the fours and in the threes. But here we are with rates in the twos. This is tremendous news for home buyers and sellers. And it's the primary driving factor for home sales in 2020. And while I've said this before, there really has never been a better time to buy a home. Even though average home price appreciation was up year over year to almost $593,000, when coupled with the recent drop in interest rates, a 30-year fixed loan with 10% down will yield principal and interest payments of about $2,200. That's roughly one third of a percent less than the same home just one year ago. In July, a record number of home sales in the Denver metro area sold. Throughout the month, nearly 7,200 homes closed, a year-over-year -year increase of 21%. That's also an increase of 16% from the previous month. The average price of a home in the Denver metro area in July was over $539,000, a year-over-year -year increase of 9%. As compared to last month, prices were 6% higher. The competitive nature of the market post-lockdown reported in July that almost 24% of closed transactions sold for a full price offer with over 40% selling for over asking price. Currently, there are just four weeks of inventory, three weeks less than this time last year, and one week less than last month. We continue to be starved for inventory, but now, are now seeing clear signs of an extended selling season where buyers remain in competitive offer situations. With inventory still below one month, a little over three weeks, which indicates that there are far more buyers in the market than there are sellers, multiple offers are likely to continue so long as we have inventory and rates remaining low. Denver Metro Homes spent an average of 25 days on the market in July, one day less than this time last year, and the same amount of time as last month. The number is almost identical between single family homes and condos and townhomes. The median number of days a home spent on the market in July was seven, down four days from last year. Year-to-date measures indicate that we are having a strong buying and selling season, despite the roller coaster ride that is 2020. Compared to last year, the, new, the count of new listings is down just 6%, and the number of closed listings is down 4%. As the busy season progresses, however, we're seeing the gap in those year-over-year -year comparisons to last year decrease. The average close price is actually up from 4% from last year, primarily due to high buyer demand and low inventory levels. Yeah, now more than ever, we understand that everyone's situation is unique. So please give us a call to discuss how the current real estate market impacts you. We'd love to hear from you.